Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez blasting Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos for, well, for daring to be a billionaire in America, accusing him of paying his workers, quote, starvation wages. Amazon responded with this statement to Fox Business. These allegations are absurd. Amazon associates receive industry-leading pay starting at $15 an hour. In fact, hourly associates at our Staten Island facility earn between $17.30 and $23 an hour plus benefits. This is the latest in her crusade against Bezos, as she was instrumental in stopping Amazon from setting up shop in New York City. But some wonder, at this time, has she gone too far? Joining me now is the CUNY distinguished lecturer, Basil Smeichel, along with former advisor to President George W. Bush, Brad Blakeman. Basil, let me start with you. I mean, there was a considerable amount of backlash against uh, AOC <laughs> when Amazon pulled its roots. Well, they never set roots, but, right. you know, they were going to come here. Right. And we understand some of the issues, right? Gentrification, what that does in neighborhoods. And it looks great, except all the people that might have lived there before had to move out because they didn't have the skill sets. Mm -hmm. But it, it seemed like a massive miss on her part. And she has consistently been like Moby Dick and Captain Ahab <laughs> with this thing. She can't let it go. It seems at first blush like an ad hominem attack. I would say it is a continuation of this of this sort of back and forth since Amazon tried to come to New York. And they actually are going to come to New York, reports are, but not necessarily Long Island City as they were planning. Um, so having said that, I think there's this larger issue that uh, Democrats are really trying to push forward. It's not just minimum wage, but, but unionization living wage, those type of protections that uh, are really important for us as we talk about uh, the future of work in this country. So I, I, I may take issue with some of the things that she said, but I think the larger point... What would you take points, issue with? Well, I, it, as I said before, I think some of those attacks may seem ad hominem, right? right. Like real personal as opposed to the broader business right. dealings. And it is true that there had been reports that Amazon's uh, pay and treatment of their workers was not consistent across the board, even if they say, yes, we paid them, it's the Staten Islanders, these wages. So I, I think there's some balance that needs to be struck, but I think the larger point, again, is protections for workers. And the truth is, just very quickly, where unions have been losing strength in states, the federal government has had to take a stronger role in this. And so there is some argument to be made that companies could do a little more. Although, you know, uh, Brad, uh, the, there was a unionization effort just uh, over the week in Chattanooga, Tennessee, at a Volkswagen plant. It narrowly was defeated, uh, despite a lot of money being put in by unions. They thought that was it, that, that Chattanooga plant was going to be the one. So there's still a considerable amount of pushback when people have a right, uh, have a say in unionization. That being said, this demonization of billionaires, uh, it seems to be part of the core platform now of the Democratic Party. Is that going to resonate with voters? I don't think so, not at all. We don't demonize people for being successful, living the American dream. Uh, if it wasn't for Bezos and, and others like him who create jobs, then we wouldn't be at full employment. And by the way, AOC is the same person who bemoaned the fact that she can't make it on a, on a congressional salary of more than 120000 a year living in both New York and D.C. And we were supposed to be sympathetic to that. I mean, really, Jeff Bezos chasing him out of New York, creating 30,000 direct jobs and countless uh, other jobs, dry cleaners, restaurants that would either have to expand their present operation or bring new opportunities to others is right. absolutely well, crazy. Well, if I could if I could just add very quickly, I don't think that it was necessarily her that chased out Amazon. But I will say I do blame sort of my, my mayor and my governor here in New York for not necessarily going to the community with Amazon and talking through a lot of those issues no, to people get the community were afraid. better. I, and so that bothers me a little bit. But I'll just add this other point. Democrats are not upset, not uh, we don't think big business is the enemy. In fact, African Americans had a summit in uh, South Carolina over the weekend to talk about uh, black economic uh, uh, stability and brought the candidates down to make sure that they address that. So folks of color in particular, which is the base of the Democratic Party, they like big business also. We, we want to be entrepreneurs. We want some of those same Everybody wants to be Rick Ross, right, and, and Jay-Z. <laughs> no, no, Jay no. No, Jay-Z just I, be I, hit the billionaire I, I status, be, right? I want to be Robert Smith. That's okay. what Real quick, be. though, uh, because AOC also took on President Trump. Trump. Uh, Brad, uh, you know, she's been swinging and listen, she, you know, she, she carries a lot of weight. I don't care what they say. And I, you know, I know that the Democrats are trying to convince everyone that the party isn't listening just even further to the left, but she's pretty vocal. And now she's taking on President Trump as well. Well, the Democrats have let uh, AOC, uh, it's the inmates running the asylum. Uh, Pelosi oh, has absolutely no control. Are you, hey, are you calling us inmates? 
Let's clean that I, I up am, a little I, bit. I, it's colloquial. You know exactly what it means. I, I and, don't, and, actually. And, well, it, it doesn't mean what you're implying. What I'm saying is she's Pelosi has given up her leadership. Right. She has no control over her caucus. To let AOC be the darling of the Democrats and, and, the, and the poster girl for socialism is, is, uh, is crazy. Gentlemen, it's we got to... The, Democrats, years ago, we, if you called a Democrat a socialist, you were defaming them. Now they get angry if you don't call them All right, them we got to leave it there, and I got another phrase I cannot say on TV. Inmates running in the insane asylum. <laughs> All oh, right, listen, no, you guys no. are two brilliant guys. We appreciate the conversation. Basil, Brad, let's continue Thanks. it because uh, it's only going to get hotter, that's for sure.